All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's see if we can get these videos back to a semi-regular cadence. This episode, back on my DDR, gonna be doing the front brakes. I did some exploration online, what kind of brake packages could be done. There's a lot of Willwood options, a lot of uh, Brembo options. You could go with uh, the C5, uh, sorry, C6 Z06 big brake kit. However, that's all in the range of $1,500. What I did find in that course was that ATSV, Cadillac ATSV uh, front brakes are four piston, but very, very large four pistons, and you use uh, the C6006 rotors and put them on that. You do have to modify the caliper slightly to clearance them. They're not designed for 14 inch uh, rotors. They're designed for slightly, something slightly smaller, but there's enough meat on there where it does not compromise anything and you can actually just grind it down to accommodate the larger brakes. So let me show you what we got and go from there. So as you can see, these guys are fairly hefty. So all we have to do is the bolt pattern is the same for mounting it back here. There is a washer or a spacer that needs to go on the back side. It is about 40 thousands just to get it centered on this. And then all you have to do is grind down this little upper portion right here and the bottom portion to accommodate it enough where when you get thermal expansion and the rotating force, you have enough clearance. And I'm not too worried about, you know, the look of this because I'm gonna spray paint this with the brake enamel, caliper enamel in a color that's gonna match the paint downstream. So let's go ahead and install the other one. I think I still have to do fitting on the other one to grind down the upper and lower portion to get it on there. So let's do that. A little bit of a problem on the left side, on the driver's side, 80,000 was just centered. Uh, looks like there's some variance in the tolerance here. Um, when I put the 80,000 here on this side, it's touching the caliper, which means it needs to come out further. So it needs to go out another um, 20 to 40 thou out this way. So I need to go back to the store, see if I can get some spacers that are a little bit thicker um, or get a half washer, but I might have to order something online. So let's, let's take a look here. So 
this was the one that we had in there. It's 80 thousandths and we're gonna go to 120 thousandths with this one right here. Let's go ahead and give it a try and confirm our fitment. Maybe not. All right, there's good clearance on this side. Let's see, there you go. You can see light through, it's consistent, and same thing on this other side, consistent. And then up at the top, at the top right here, we have good clearance and same on the bottom. So we don't need to do any more grinding on this one. And that'll be it for installing these guys. So next thing for these, we need to go ahead and get the brake lines and then run them to the brake booster. Oh, one more thing. All right, next thing. We need to tow this in quite a bit. It was towed out significantly, so we're um, taking, I shortened this by about an inch and a quarter, and then we're re-threading the entire tie rod all the way down to where it's got the adjuster. And then we're gonna put on our bump steer kit. So I'm gonna keep working at this. I had to take and weld the die <laughs> to a big old half inch drive and then in order to get it to hold while I'm tapping it I have to take a deep socket cut it down just so there's enough surface area where it's not gonna slip so we're gonna finish this up and then hop on the other side after we get this all tied up
All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. So we got the big brakes on here, and these have more surface area than actually the Wellwood uh, six pistons for the simple reason of the six pistons actually have a very narrow track on the brake rotor, whereas these are much wider, so the surface area of the brake pad is about the same. Now, four piston, but they're big, beefy four pistons, so we'll be good with that. Uh, plenty for this. Still gotta figure out the rear as well. Uh, those are probably gonna end up being four piston Wellwoods, just smaller ones. Next thing we did, we shortened up the tie rod ends, so now both are parallel and straight. Next, we'll tackle another project, probably the front suspension. Stay tuned, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. If you like this, subscribe.